welcome back. Today we're going to be playing at Tony's. This one is a demo. The game looks really interesting, so I do look forward to the full release. You are basically working in a haunted pizza parlor and the night shift. Um, I do have to mention one thing, though, which is why I've, I've popped out of the music and stuff. Uh, the actual file name for this is not at Tony's, it's not Haunted Tony's, or Nights at Tony's. The name of the file for this game is Toilet Tony. So, uh, that's a thing. The, the, the actual name of the game is Toilet Tony. I, ha I have concerns about that. Is that hinting at something for the future? I don't know, and now I am worried. Anyway, let's play the game and make some pizzas with ghosts and spooky things and whatnot. Again, if you like the stuff that I'm making and would like to support, please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I do appreciate everybody so far who has been trying to help me out. You have been awesome. And let's get bacon. All right. I am awake! The Linux kernel book? What? Need to make coffee. What, what's on here? Oh, it's a guide for the computer. It's an oldie. What is that? Like a... Can of Sonic. <laughs> it's like a computer from 1990 in a modern laptop. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Alright, it wants me to make coffee, but first... Let's explore a little bit. Can I click on you? Alright, we got the bathroom. The sh wow, this is like the smallest shower. Wait a minute. Wait, a minute. we got the toilet in here, the shower in here. Where's the sink? Are you are you not washing your hair? Ew, ew, ew. I, I'm, mm, I should have looked in there. Alright, and I have, I have a hallway. <laughs> Mm, now that I'm fueled with caffeine, let's go and make pizza. Apparently, I like pizza. Let's go. Oh, I do care. Okay, that explains why the computer looks so old. So this is, this is set in like 99, I guess. Hey there. Are you still using floppy disks and dial-up internet? Well, it's time to upgrade to the new millennium. Introducing the Y2K Survival Kit. Everything you need to navigate the digital world of 2000 and beyond. The CD-ROM with 1000 hours of AOL internet. Say goodbye to that digital... That dial-up screeching. A stylish fanny pack with a built-in portable CD player. Keep your tunes spinning on the go. A shiny Y2K bug-proof tinfoil hat that protects your brain from cyber attacks, aliens, and more. I've already got that covered, don't worry. A stack of Millennium bug-free stickers apply to your devices for instant Y2K immunity. A collector's edition, now that's what I call Music 5 the CD. Dance your way into the new millennium. Don't miss out on the future. Order your Y2K survival kit now and join the techno party. Limited stock available, so act fast. Alright, let's see. Jimmy Falco to me. Hey, hey, Joe! What's up, guys? Time for another legendary night shift at the pizzeria. I know, I know, it's not exactly the hottest Saturday night plan, but hey, it's all in the name of keeping the family biz alive. Here's the lowdown. Dough's prepared, so no need to stress about that. Just head to the kitchen when you're ready and rock and roll. Oh, don't forget to load up on wood for the oven. It's been acting up lately. Orders will pop up on the computer, and if you ever draw a blank on what goes where, our trusty pizza recipe book is on the desktop. I'll swing by in the morning and check in. It's going to be a chill night, so... Uh, I also left you a voicemail at the pizzeria, just to fresh up your memory once you get there. You got this. Later, Jimmy. I still hope you'll reconsider working at the pizzeria. I've always been apprehensive about that place, and I'd... Sorry. <clears throat> Father's concern. Mike Caldo. To me. Joe. I still hope you will reconsider working at the pizzeria. 
I've always been apprehensive about that place, and I'd rather you not be there during the late hours. It's an old building with a history, and I can't help but worry about your safety. I know you're capable and responsible, but as your father, I can't shake this feeling of foreboding. Please, think about it, and let me know what you decide. I can find you another job with a snap. Why do you care so much about working there instead? Mike Caldo, your best bet against financial trouble. Okay, Dad, you're acting weird. Alright, how do I... Alright, just, uh... Hello? Um... Hello? Do you want some pizza? I guess my, the character is not uh, reacting to that, so. Um, what books do we have? Can't really read it. I, I guess we, we. Okay. Just my imagination. You know, I'm. It'll be fine. I can just leave it open. So, uh, Joe, that that's that's a normal thing then. Just, just we're just gonna ignore that. And now suddenly I'm here. I guess I only work here because it has one of the best commutes. Just take the elevator down. Mamma Mia Pizzeria. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I was working at Tony's. Let me know, Mamas. All right, all right. Hey, Cuz, how are you doing? Fam wanted me to call you and give you a quick rundown for your first night. First thing you gotta do is grab the dough in the kitchen. We prepped it earlier, so you should be set for the night. Just bring it here. You will also need to put some wood in the oven before you can cook the pizza. Mm. You got some logs right under it. Orders will pop up on the computer. You also got the menu there in case you forget what ingredients to put in each pizza. Alright, that's it. I have to say, cuz, you got some serious guts coming for the night shift. With all the stories about Tony, I wouldn't want to be there. Anyway, see you in the morning. The story's about Tony. Is Tony the ghost? Ooh. All right, the kitchen is here. I'm gonna explore a little bit first. Oh yeah, that looks. Uh, that looks up to standard. I'm sure Usha is fine with it. Okay, turn the water, that's gonna be cool. And bathroom! Ah! I can finish. Nothing's actually happening though, but okay. I played the toilet paper? No. Alright, you're taking the whole not allowed in the bathroom thing seriously. Alright, okay. Like there's anybody here. Oh, we're getting a little jank. And, uh, no lights. Ah! Fuck me in the dark! Why are there no lights? You felt like the worst fucking kitchen. Why? Am I supposed to see anything around right here? Well, I got the. Okay. Well, I guess maybe I won't be spending very much time here anyway. Still. Okay, three logs of wood. Three. Check oven instructions. Anything in the mailbox? No. Important. Okay, so the password thingy. Oven guide. Makes extra crispy pizzas, fresh pizzas in minutes. Feel like professional work. Was that email being? 
Or did something come in while I'm still trying to read the instructions? And now y'all got me on a timer. You sick. Reduce the risk of personal injury, property damage when using the Calorie 2000 basic. Safety precautions should always be followed, including the following. Real instructions. Keep away from children and people with less than 100 IQ. <laughs> Do not add any petrol-based liquid directly in the oven. Do not attempt to climb inside the oven for any purpose. When it's above 400 degrees, but apparently under that's fine. Do not fall asleep while using the oven. Please follow the instructions below with accuracy in order to get the best results from cooking pizza with your calorie 2000. Add logs inside the oven and light them on. Check temperature using your temp gun. Ideal cooking temperature between 400 and 460. Cook for 60 seconds. Uh, cooking pizzas above 460 is not recommended. Once the temperature is correct, add your pizza to the oven. Use a timer to keep track of cooking state. Okay. Aha. Linda... Okay, tomato sauce, onion, and mushroom. Tomato sauce, onion, and mushroom. No, no cheese or anything, I guess. That's kind of sad. Onion and mushroom. Right, oh, we need to get to 400. So we need at least one more log. Yes, okay. Eat the paddle. Did that blend okay? Okay. Oh, uh, there we go. Don't leave it in too long. Here's a little bit of, uh, just a touch of latency. It also could be um, a lot of games will do this when, when I have my model running. But the graphics are pretty nice. Okay, can I, can I have sodas? Or beer. I'm working the late shift, no one will know. <sighs> okay. Trash. Let's get the one. Pizza. Oh my god, this is the longest 60 seconds. <laughs> Thank you! Kitchen counter. Oh, okay. Don't give to delivery guy. We have a delivery guy. Look at this all late night delivery guy. With a mask on and a motorcycle. Oh, you're you're uh Living dangerously over there, huh? Hey, cuz. Good job on your first pizza of the night. So from now on, you will get orders on the computer. Just take them as they arrive and try to get them all done on time. All right. There are some other things I need to tell you. In the last couple of weeks, some weird stuff started happening. Like kitchen equipment turning on by themselves. And we got a few leaks in the bathroom. If you ask me, I'm sure it's just some goofball who forgot to turn off water back clip. there. But my dad wanted me to brief you on this. Simple stuff, really. Just check the kitchen and bathrooms for anything suspicious. Easy, right? Previous guy that worked the night shift, you know, the crazy dude that jumped off, said there were some ghosts messing around in the pizzeria. Uh, we don't believe in ghosts, right, cuz? That spark scared me. <laughs> oh.
The ghosts did not waste any time, did they? Oh, we got... I got pizzas. Okay. Stragoni and... Show what the heck. It's like, yeah, you got it. Um, would you like a pizza? <gasps> How dare you deny the pizza? I'm offering you pizza, lady. Come on. Okay, probably double clicking on things don't help. <laughs> I bet you're hiding in there, huh? Shoot. Did I start the timer? Did not. Okay, take it out just a little bit early. Creepy date hasn't come back. I guess she doesn't like her pizza. We could do breadsticks. I'm pretty sure I got other stuff. You know, spaghetti, calzone. Ooh, I, I love calzones myself. That would that would get me coming in as a ghost. Give me a good calzone. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh shoot, no. Okay, the temperature is fine. Here we go. Non-burned pizza this time. Maybe if I can... Here we go. Ha! Hello? Hello. Let me guess. You're the new guy. The guy they picked to deal with their sick, treached family. Well, only the dead ones, right? Let me tell you a story. Your story. See, I called you tonight because I'd assumed they would be steadfast to replace me. Nothing more important to the Falcos than money, isn't it? I used to... Well, I used to make the pizzas during the night shift. They probably told you I was insane or other stupid lies about what made me do what I did. You got that bailed? The and what did you do? Elsewhere. There are things happening in this restaurant, and I can help you survive. Well, you could just run away and never look back. But if you're even slightly like me, you came here for a reason. A purpose. You have something you need to do, isn't it? While you pursue whatever fantasy of yours, I can help you survive a few nights. But just a few. Red pizza feels incomplete. Completed or okay, we got a little tracker too. All right, I guess that was it. A little bit shorter than I than I thought it would be, cause but still, it's cool. I'm intrigued. And we had a little glitch there at the end, and couldn't exit to the menu. That was a little odd. Um, but yeah, I hope. You liked it. I liked it. I look forward to full release and maybe some more tidbits later. They have my attention with the haunted pizza place. That's a little bit different. We don't get, I mean, we get little haunted restaurants now and then, but nothing like, I don't know, substantial or, or long or detailed, you know, that kind of thing. So that's cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming by again. If you would like to support the channel, just give a like, subscribe. And I appreciate your time and gratefully that you decided to spend some of it with me today. And take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Good night. <laughs>